that, that's where my position is at. that it makes sense to protect a machine, an agent, an entity from harm on two bases. One, you prevent the human to be tempted to harm. Okay. So if there's already a law in place or protection in place, then it makes it less likely that the human will harm. And secondly, if the robot is extremely valuable, not just physically, financially, but also psychologically, that is, yeah. it is important. Here's a robot that's important to you. He's uh, one, one of your one companions. Yeah. Then not only would I harm the robot if I harmed it, and the robot deserves protection, but because the robot has a relationship yeah. with you, you would be harmed. So rather than thinking of robots as, do they have emotions? Do they have suffering? Should we protect them from suffering? Okay. This is a very difficult question, what this even means in a machine. Yeah. But we can think of the relationships among all of us will sooner or later require that we have rules about protecting property, uh, interactants. We already have rules about my not being allowed to damage your iPad or take yeah. it away. And the iPad just doesn't have certain functions that you have psychological relationships to it. But if a robot is there and I harm it, I, I teach it the wrong things, I insult it, this may have an impact on you. Yeah. So whether or not in the distant future, robots have so much psychology, intelligence, maybe consciousness, whatever that means, that we want to protect them with the same kinds yeah. of rights as we protect humans directly. They will very soon have relationships with others, so we have to protect those people those by protecting the robots. Okay.